So my mom brought a tub of stuff over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm still going through it, but this guy here was towards the top. And uh, <laughs> despite having completely forgotten about him up till today, <laughs> I instantly remembered him. Um, I'd gotten this when I was in preschool. And I was like, wait a minute, wasn't this a puppet? So I, I'm feeling around, and sure enough, holes right there in his butt. And then, <laughs> I mean, you can kind of poke your finger there, but that's actually a hole. But it's like, that's <laughs> hilarious. I mean, you don't move his mouth, it's, you're basically just moving him up and down and the carrots attached by Velcro, and I just thought that was hilarious that we even still had him. Um, because you know, I figured a lot of my childhood toys had gotten thrown out. Um, this guy he needs to be cleaned, but we had, I don't know what store this is even from, but we had gotten a set, and I believe I had a small poo, I think there might have been a small tigger, but Piglet was probably my favorite at the time because he was big. And <laughs> you know you're old when you have the original Beauty and the Beast soundtrack on cassette and no sign of the case because you probably actually decimated the paper piece that was inside because you were getting from roughly handling it. Of course, I was like four or five years old, so <laughs> cut me some flack. Um, but I thought that was kind of interesting that, you know, these were even in there. Uh, so just wanted to share. <laughs>